Hi everyone, this is Gail here from IMM Academy. Now I've had a few questions and people wanting to know how to set up a subdomain. Now many of you will know how to set up a uh, just a web address and you know what you buy your domain name at maybe a domain name for you.com and then you have your hosting at say a, a hosting account for you.com and so you buy your name at a domain name for you and then you transfer you changing the DNS servers and then you do the add-on domain and then you end up with a name like this like immacademy.com but some of you want to know how to do a subdomain and a subdomain would be let's say the immacademy.com but you could put something in front of that like gale.immacademy.com or maybe you have a series of ebooks and they're all in the same health maybe in the health uh, niche and then you might have a web address called uh, freeebook.com. I think that was probably gone by now. But anyway, let's use that as an example. And so what you could put at the front is uh, acne.freeebook.com or big toe injury dot, uh, free ebook dot com or whatever it is that your name is. So I think you get the picture. So what you do is you just buy this name but when you want to add something in front of it, you don't have to purchase that name. So you're only purchasing this name and everything else is an add-on. Your subdomain is an add-on to it and you don't have to pay for it. I'm going to give you an example. So let's go to have a look at this one. If you look at this web address, it's in hamiltonnz.com. That's the address I purchased. But what I wanted to do was have a series of them. So I've got accountants. For instance, we've got car care. So that's under automotive repairs dot in Hamilton NZ. And let's look at the next one. Commercial real estate dot in Hamilton NZ dot com. So all I've had to purchase was the one name and all these other things, I, they're just free. You don't have to pay for them to add these on. Isn't that cool? So let me show you how to do that. So firstly, you'll have to get into your cPanel. Now your cPanel will look a little like this, may look a little different, but it'll be very similar to this it might just look you know but it's okay because all you're doing is you're coming in and you're going to scroll down until you come to say subdomains so this is where we want to go so we're going to go subdomain now I've already done this so I won't go doing it again but because uh, this particular hosting I just want separate I don't want too many extra things in there but I've already done this and I'll just show you what I did was I just put Gail in the front so Gail dot in Hamilton NZ dot com and then I just went create and it created it and how simple was that that's all you have to do and it goes away it may take a little bit of time but it goes away and it creates it now then what I did was after I did that I decided to go and put a WordPress site on that particular name. So if we go to, um, oh, I forgot to open it. So it's gale.nhamiltonnz, there it is there. We click on that. Oh, and it's still coming up with this. It actually was, I think it's in my cache. It is actually correct and it is really coming up with my name now. It's just uh, in my cache and um, I need to go and fix that. But that's all you have to do, guys. That's as simple as that. So you just put whatever you want in front of your domain name and then your site will come up. So that's how easy it is. And this is Gail here from IMM Academy and hopefully that's been really helpful to you. Have a great day.